Welcome to this week's session of Putnam County District Library Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This is Shelley, and this week uh, we are bringing to you uh, a website referred to as Newzilla. And what Newzilla does is it helps um, students and adults, for that matter, build reading skills that, uh, with engaging articles that are updated daily and are available in multiple Lexile levels so they can be adjusted uh, based upon the reading level. Uh, this program is available at the HTTPS newzilla.com address and it is something that you as educators or even as homeschooling parents will find useful with um, your children and your students. So what I have here is the exact location for Newzilla itself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring across here, first of all, this first screen, which shows when you go to sign up with Newzilla, it's going to give you the option of whether it, you are signing in as a student, an educator, or a caregiver. And then after you have done that, what you will see is you pick which one, of course, and then it gives you the option. I as an educator had picked um, the role of educator and then it gave me these um, other four options that I could choose from and then the screen comes up where it says thanks for all you do and then it wants you to create an account. I signed up using um, a Google account that I had. You could also um, just put in your um, first name, last name, and an email address, or if you use Microsoft Word for Clever for that matter. And then after that, you are going to see a screen that comes up that says, do you already have a Newzilla account? So you would simply say yes or no to this question, and then you are going to come up with the introduction that it will go through. And basically, you could skip this, or I had um, put this on. I wanted you to see how there are actually the five different reading levels that you would pick for your that you would pick when you are doing this. Then you also you could, if you are a Google um, school district, you could actually sync your Google accounts, or you can add your classes um, individually and then it comes up and it will ask you for um, what content area you might be teaching as well as your different grade levels. So I'm going to go back here to my actual Newzilla account. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to sign in with my Google account here and then it automatically comes up and this is always the latest content of what is available for the day. You can browse, obviously, with the different topics. It even is in um, Spanish as well. And then you have your options for what you have saved, what you might have created, or even if you are doing this with the school, what the school has. And then we have assignments. So when I go to assignments, what happens is, is I can search news articles. Um, I can search library articles. And then you'll notice over here on the side, I have my class list, and I just had made one as first period, just for, exa for example over here. And then when I go to binder, I have my reading summary, which is going to give me the um, detailed information, which I don't have any information that would be viewable and showing because I, ha I purposely haven't um, added anything to this account. And then I also have my activity feed as well that would be available here. And this is showing different school, uh, different members of the school. If I go back to my content, saved by me, you'll notice that I have this is empty, but I can create a text set as well here. And I also have my option up here in the um, right hand corner for my educator center. So if I click on Educator Center, I have my community as well as um, 
the support and what these does welcome to your community and you can sign in here and then you would see different um, educators that might um, have information here so i'm going to go back here to mozilla and i'm going to do show you how um, let's just do a search and let's i'm going to type in let's say um, elephants Got to be able to type. So type in elephants, for example. I'm going to search. And then I have all of these different articles that pop up. And I can actually go in. And if I were to say, let's um, let's pick, um, for example, let's just pick the first one. Let's assign it. If I go create an assignment, it, uh, my, now my only option is first first period, but I could create a new class here. Notice what happens is I have my different options. I have my Google, my Clever, my Canvas, my class link, or I can simply do create a class with Mozilla. If I go create a class with Mozilla, I title it, I pick the grade level, so let's just do second period, for example. And I'm going to pick a grade level, let's say fifth grade. And I'm going to say subject, um, let's just do science. And notice it automatically turned on this elementary content filter. I could turn this off if I chose, or I can leave it on. Because what it's doing is recommending classes, or recommending news articles that relate, that would be relating for elementary school students. So if I hit create a class, and I now have um, another class created and then I have here I can see where I can share my link or I can use a class code so in other words I would share this link to my students or I would give the students the class code and they could automatically then enroll themselves in to my course since I currently do not have any I'm showing in the course if I go to first period notice what was happening is, is it was assigning it because I've got a check mark it's assigning it to both over here um, to the right is where I would adjust my reading levels so I could change my reading level based upon um, if I had students that maybe maybe it's a fifth grade class but they're um, reading at a third grade level I could change that um, again up here is where I have my invite for students and I could all, I could actually just save it as a draft if I was um, wasn't for sure that I wanted to add this yet. Otherwise, I would do assign and assign it to my class. Um, once we have those created, I'm, going, I'm just going to go ahead here. I'm going to hit assign. So now those are assigned, and notice what happens. I had, my one class didn't have any students in it. The other class had one student. So zero of one student so far have viewed. If I click here out to the side, this is where I can uh, provide additional instructions. And this is where then I would see. Notice I have student one who was assigned today, uh, 21 minutes. This is the level. This is the score. So these are this is just like just an example of what it's like for a student when it um, when they actually go in, they read and answer the questions for the articles. So that is just a very brief summary of Newzilla and what is available. Again, you've got your educator center that will provide a lot of information to um, teachers and parents, anyone who is using this to enhance their the ability for their students to uh, learn based upon an article, but it's going to be able to be set to their lextile level. And so basically I can take an article, I can have it a very basic reading level all the way up to the highest reading level, and it's the same same article that's being viewed so it's the same subject matter same content that's being presented to the students
So I hope you found this uh, useful. And next week, we will be looking at a tool referred to as Edpuzzle. Uh, that's something that I do see a lot of educators and um, people that are homeschooling with their students using today. Hope everyone has a good week.